Okay, good evening and congratulations on joining the 2019 Web Solutions Bingo Contest. You know, these contests are less about the prizes and more about the training that you'll receive. And when you implement what you learn over the next eight weeks, I will tell you that you can soar to success. Our previous challenge winners uh, have gone on to become certified Web Center trainers. Our last three contest winners have earned thousands of dollars in retail profits, have uh, uh, accumulated thousands of BV and hundreds of recurring BV each and every month just from what they learned in these training sessions. So I am so excited to bring this session to you. My name is Jason Pellin. I'm the director of MA Web Centers. And after this webinar, you want to make sure that if you have any questions, you can always email us at mawebcenters at marketamerica.com. And you also have access to our exclusive Web Center owner support group on Facebook. So if you're not a member of that group, you want to just go ahead and go onto Facebook and search for Web Center owner support and you can request to join that group. And if you are a web center owner and unfranchised owner, we will accept that request. Now, many of you hopefully are just joining us as brand new web center owners. Maybe you took advantage of one of the uh, free web center setup specials, or maybe you're reactivating a web center. And I congratulate you for taking advantage of such a great deal. But more than that, I wanna say that you have done the most important thing that you can do, and that's register for the Web Solutions Bingo Contest. So we're gonna talk a little bit tonight about the logistics of the contest. We're gonna talk about setting your goals, and we'll talk about what you can expect in upcoming weeks. So. Let's talk a little bit about the contest, right? I know it's a fun game of bingo. We've talked about bingo. Hopefully people have played uh, traditional bingo before. So this is kind of a fun contest. So everyone's gonna need a bingo card, right? To, to play bingo, you need a bingo card. So if you go to the MAWC, 411.com website, and you go to the bingo challenge, you can see the web address here in English, they do have them translated as well, um, you will be brought to a bingo card. Um, on the contest registration page, right under the rules, you can click that, but you can also download your bingo card in a PDF, and that's gonna go over uh, some of the prizes as well. So we're gonna talk a little bit about these prizes, uh, and then we'll get into the content of the actual training. So uh, one thing is your any five bingo spaces in a row, you got your four corners and your coverall. Now the most exciting thing about our contest is that it's not just for one winner. So anyone can win, multiple people can win, multiple prizes throughout the contest. So here is your bingo card. Now, it is the responsibility of the Web Center owner to track their own bingo cards. You know, you go to a bingo hall, they don't have your bingo card and start stamping your card for you. So everyone has the same exact card. So the idea is as you have some of these sales and activities completed, you're gonna be able to mark your card. Now the funny thing is, is that you have, for example, in the B column, the first corner there says website sale. But also in the N column, in the second row, you'll see website sale. So each product is shown multiple times on this card. So there are multiple ways that you can play this. So it gives you a higher probability of uh, success because you've got multiple ways that you can play your own card. So my recommendation to each and every one of you is to print off multiple cards, right? Print off cards and when you make a website sale, maybe you circle it with a pencil or maybe you highlight with a blue uh, color on one card and maybe on another card you highlight in an orange color. But the idea is that you're gonna have to track your own bingo and when you think that you've achieved bingo, you're gonna take a picture or scan it and you're gonna email it to us so that we can verify and validate it based on your sales. We'll talk about how you can do that. So let's talk about the first thing, five spaces in a row. So one way might be horizontally, right? So five spaces in a row and everyone gets a free space in the middle just for registering for the contest. You get a free spot right in the middle. Register for bingo contest, you all get that one. So congratulations, you all have one spot on your bingo cards. But if you're gonna go horizontally, in this case, this example would be, you have sold a client reputation management, you sold either the same client or another client, a social media package uh, for social media management, uh, you've sold a Google advertising package, an SEO package, and a website sale. Now, you could have one client that you've sold all of those products to, and you win bingo. 
or it could be two different clients, or it could be three or four different clients, or it could be five different clients. So the idea is that there's lots of ways that you could play this, right? Another row across might be the top row. Maybe the top row is a website sale, reputation management, Morse Connect, social media, and personally sponsor a new unfranchise owner, right? So we're building in uh, ways to build your unfranchised business as well. Now, what you'll see are a couple places. You'll see Morse Connect in parentheses US, and then it says reputation management. Now, if you're in the U.S., that spot is Morse Connect. If you're anywhere outside of the U.S., that spot is Reputation Management. And the reason is, is unfortunately, Morse Connect is a U.S.-only product for now. But we wanted to make sure that everyone across the globe could play the bingo contest with us. Now, we just showed you an example of horizontal bingo. Well, what about vertical bingo? Maybe it's down the G column. Maybe you've sold a social media package, um, two website sales, an SEO package, and a Facebook advertising package right you win bingo congratulations now when it shows you uh, Facebook advertising or Google advertising it could be any level it could be the basic it could be elite it could be premier it doesn't matter the type of package just as long as it's one of those packages but you also can play vertically horizontally and diagonally so in this case it might be diagonally it could be a website sale with a classic design package or higher you get the free bingo contest in the middle you get the seo package and then say morse connect five diagonally so when you complete any five spaces in a row horizontally vertically or diagonally you will win a free month of web center hosting and again we expect many web center owners to be able to get this free month of hosting so that's fun right and the idea is that it's really about the training but we want to have some prizes and incentives for your success as well now you can only win the free hosting one time right so unfortunately you're not gonna be able to keep winning free hosting maybe you do it every single week the idea is that you win it once congratulations move on to the next prize right now we have another contest right the other prize would be for four corners so what does four corners look like well you've got website sale uh, personally sponsor a new one franchise owner another website sale and a Morse Connect sale or a reputation management sale. You've completed four corners. You will win $50 in US, right? So US $50 as a prize that you get sent and wired into your bank account, right? That's a nice little incentive as well. Again, you can only win it once. However, you can win this prize as well as the five in a row bingo contest as well. So you can win each of these prizes, but you can only win each prize once, if that makes sense. If you have any questions, make sure you write that on the Web Center Owner Support Facebook group, and we'll clarify that. Now, there is one other contest, and it is the hardest contest for any bingo game, but it's fun. It's fun. So if you complete coverall, right, you complete coverall, meaning that you have completed every single one of these places, you will win $1,000, right? $1,000. Now, beyond the $1,000, I want you to look at this. Each of these website sales, you're averaging a profit of $500 to $1,500 in retail profits, right? So you're winning $1,000 for a prize. You're also earning thousands of dollars from website sales. You've got ongoing recurring monthly BV for hosting. You have monthly recurring retail profits and monthly recurring BV for all of the digital marketing products. So, yeah, the thousand dollars is great, but think of how much your business would grow when you personally sponsor someone, you bring on a new web center owner, you have all these sales. And the idea is this is for someone who's really focused on being a web center professional, right? You make a, a sale or two uh, each week over eight weeks, you can certainly accomplish this. In fact, I know some web center owners right now that are on track to. Uh, winning the coverall contest and hopefully there are many of us that do so so again it is the responsibility of the web center owner to track their own bingo cards once a web center owner has bingo they've got 10 days to submit an email at mawebcenters at marketamerica.com that you think that you've won bingo in that email we need to have a picture of your bingo card that you have circled um, whether it's five uh, horizontally, five vertically, five uh, diagonally, four corners, or the coverall, whatever your, your bingo card looks like, you want to make sure that you send that to us so we can see what you're planning as your strategy for bingo. But you also need to let us know what the um, sales were. So um, if you use the free space, let us know. I'm using the free space. I also had F 
uh, Facebook advertising to XYZ landscaping sale on, for example, September 7th. I had a website sale to Durning Law on September 23rd. I had an SEO sale also to Durning Law on September 23rd. And then I had another website sale, uh, Healing Massage, on October 1st. So give us a snapshot of your bingo card and let us know what your sales are. It just makes it easier for us to validate and verify all the winning um, participants without having to try and find out what your sales were and try to match up the bingo card ourselves. Um, in fact, we wouldn't be able to do that with all the, the participants. So give us an idea of your bingo card and then what your sales are, and we will validate that and verify it, and we'll make sure that we get you at the end of the contest your winnings. Okay. So that's the fun contest. Now let's talk about how we're going to succeed. Well, first of all, you need to know where your resources are and your tools. And of course, if you're brand new to web centers, mawc411.com is your resource site. All your tools, all your downloads, all your trainings, everything is there for you. And it's just a good reminder that everything is bundled up on that website. So before we can take action, the most important thing we do is set goals, right? So we have to create smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. So smart goals demonstrate your belief. Belief dictates your action, and action really dictates your results, right? Activity leads to results. Many of you have heard us say this before, that without action, nothing happens. So you can be the smartest, uh, most well-versed web center or unfranchised owner, but if you don't take action, nothing's going to happen. Now. In terms of your goals, I want you to make them specific. I will sell five websites throughout this contest. They need to be measurable, right? I need to make sure they're achievable, right? Five website sales by the end of the contest on October 31st, right? That's measurable. It's achievable. It's realistic and it's time bound. Whatever your goals are, make sure they're written, right? You have a written goal statement. So really, it's time to think back to yourself. You've probably set goals before. So did you hit them? Why or why not? What can you do to have a better shot at success, right? And really, it comes down to three things. Attitude, activity, and skill, right? So do you have the right mindset? Or do you have the right knowledge base? Do you have the right goals? Do you have um, the right training? Second is the activity. Are you doing the right activity? Do you have enough activity? Are you talking to enough business owners? Are you getting enough referrals? Are you booking uh, consultations? And if you are, then it comes down to skill. Maybe there's a couple things that need to be tweaked, right? Maybe there's some language things. Maybe there's a, a, a different um, way of saying the same thing. Maybe it's trying to book appointments. Maybe it's in the follow-up, right? So you need to identify what is it? What is the obstacle that's been holding you back? And maybe it's just taking action. And that's what I usually find. I usually find that anyone can succeed with the Web Center division, but those that don't or have less success, it's because they just haven't taken action on their goals, right? But you've got a team of professionals to help you succeed. You've got a team of Web Center owners and Web Center trainers that want to help you succeed. So be active on the Web Center Owner Support Facebook page. So we're coming up to a new quarter, right? So at the end of September, we come into quarter four, October, November, December. So four months here at the end of the year, it's time to set our goals, determine these new targets. How do your goals change? Some are going to carry over, some will change, but really what are you looking to accomplish before the end of 2019? I can't even believe we're almost at the end of this year. So you've got four months to make it happen and it's your job to make an action plan. Right. And it comes down to strategic planning, deciding what you want. Right. What do you want to accomplish? Is it measurable? Can you calculate it? Right. What do you want to live, to love, to learn or to leave as a legacy? What is your financial or family goal and how much will it cost? Make it a financial goal. Determine your website uh, and web center business goals and how they can help you achieve your overall personal and family goals. Determine and assess an action plan to achieve your business goals and then be prepared, right? Stay on track, be transparent, be honest to yourself and work towards those goals each and every day. So you really want to be a master of your schedule, right? You want to say, okay, what am I doing Monday through Thursday? What am I doing Friday? Maybe what am I doing weeks one through four? What am I doing on the fifth week of the month, right? And you want to make sure that you're balanced. It's not all just about prospecting or trying to reach out to new candidates. It's not all just about uh, demonstration appointments, right? Website demo appointments with product specialists. You're going to have to do a little bit of all of these areas, right? You're going to have to set new appointments. You're going to have to add new names to your list. You're going to have to reach out and follow up with some candidates. You're going to have to contact people about the unfranchised business, right? So you need to make sure that you have 
in your calendar when you're working, right? You need an appointment book, right? So whether you're using an actual book, a phone or a tablet, just have it on you. Have it on you. Know all of your upcoming GMTSS events. That way when you're prospecting, you have a place to send your prospects, right? And you know when your HBPs are. When are your UBPs? When is the local seminar? When is your regional convention? When are your team corings? When are your call workshops? And when are you reaching out to candidates for your web center business, right? Now, pick one night a week where you're showing the plan. If you've got a busy schedule, find a time that you can show the plan at least once per week. And then, of course, each and every day, you want to circle times that you can dedicate to reaching out to new website prospects. And I know a lot of people are busy. A lot of people are busy. But don't use it as an excuse. It comes down to not time management, but priority management. Everyone can find 15 minutes a day. And if you can't wake up 15 minutes earlier or stay up 15 minutes later or take 15 minutes of your lunch break, the idea is that you can build this business in minutes and moments. You just have to be disciplined to do so. So what gets scheduled gets done. And I love this quote by Jan John Maxwell. You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. Therefore, the secret of your success is found in your daily routine. So this is also this this contest and this challenge is to help you adopt and create some new habits, right? Some success habits so that you can start creating these um a new lifestyle based upon what you really want to accomplish and how you're going to schedule it into your day and your week. So there are tools to stay organized, right? One of the best ones we have is a 12-week action plan that you can find on mawc411.com. It's under our downloads. It's also under our um, launch page. Uh, in that, it's got weekly exercises, and it's just really about making the commitment. So it allows you to measure, monitor, and adjust and control your outcome. So by being transparent and honest with yourself, we can have a clear view of your actions as it relates to your goal, right? So it keeps you organized. It helps you with following up and not letting anything slip through the cracks. I say follow up and follow through. So let's take a look at some of these tools that you have um, within your reach. So we've got the 15-minute assessments or consultation sheets, right? You can order those from unfranchised.com here in the U.S. There's the product codes. But every country, every language, and if you want to download them, you can just download them from mawc411.com. And here's something new. You can also find them on support materials on unfranchised.com now. Same thing with the B2B services catalog. You can order a printed version uh, from Unfranchise. They are on special right now, uh, but you can also download it uh, from mawc411.com or support materials on your back office, your unfranchise.com. And we also have your marketing manual. And this is a great tool and resource to read through as a new web center owner to help um, clarify some terms, but also teach you certain industries, what types of digital marketing products are best and how they can leverage web solutions. Beyond that, we've got teams of professionals to do the heavy lifting, right? Your job is to simply build a relationship with a business owner or a candidate on the local level and then refer them to a product specialist and work together with the product specialist to take the business owner through the process, right? So we've got a sales support team. We've got design and digital teams as well as customer care. So if you've got questions as a web center owner, you have access to these professionals that you call in on the hotline and you're able to talk to professionals to help you grow your business. So does anyone want to take the marathon route to success? No, we want to sprint to success. It's all about building momentum. And maybe you've heard this quote before, but I love it. Success loves speed. So you need to have a long-term vision, but you got to have short-term commitments. And that's really about this 30 days and then 60 days. What are you going to accomplish in the next eight weeks to move your life forward towards your goals, right? Certainly web center goals by selling web solutions, products, and services. Unfranchised goals, sponsoring new unfranchised owners, build your business, expand distribution. And of course, be on track to achieve the shopping annuity in the fourth quarter of this year. It's something that everyone should be able to accomplish. So from there, you need to develop an action plan. What are your daily activities? Maybe it's contact three businesses per day, schedule one consultation per day, and add two new candidates to your list. And that's something that anyone can do, 312. Anyone can do it within a 15-minute time frame in your daily schedule, and there it is. 
When you do that every single day consistently, it adds up to your weekly target, right? Contacting 15 candidates per week, scheduling three consultations per week, and booking one web center appointment for a website or a DMP uh, product specialist appointment. When you do that consistently, you will accomplish a monthly goal, which is to one website sale with a design package and one digital marketing product sale. When you do this, you're going to achieve bingo. You're also going to accomplish having thousands of dollars in retail profits, hundreds of dollars in retail uh, recurring profits on a monthly basis, and all that BV. But it all comes down to the daily activities. Contact three businesses per day, schedule one consultation, a 10 or 15 minute consultation per day, and add two new candidates to your list. And that consultation could be a phone call. Maybe you book one day where you try and schedule your three consultations and you do it in under an hour, right? Work smarter rather than harder. Now, how do you build your business, right? How about contacting two prospects per day to use the evaluation approach to schedule one appointment for them to evaluate the business to see if they may or may not be interested or might be able to lead you to the right person and add two new possibilities to your list. When you do that each and every day, you will be contacting 10 prospects for the unfranchised business per week. You'll schedule two evaluations per week, which is right in line with what J.R. Reidinger recommends that we do for a course of a year to earn a six-figure ongoing residual income. And through this, you'll attain two new customers per week for even other Market America branded products just by going through this process. When you do that, it's going to add up to the monthly goal of personally sponsoring one qualified unfranchised business owner per month. And if you only do that one per quarter, you still hit master UFO. 10 new customers and selling two tickets to upcoming GMTSS events. So you can see it all comes down to the daily action plan. So your daily steps. Post on social media once per day. Talk or call or contact one to three people per day. Read your goal statement, book one appointment per day, listen to an audio, and add two possibilities per day. When you do that, it's going to add up to your weekly goal of talking to 5 to 15 people, booking five appointments per week, and adding 10 possibilities. But again, don't focus on the weekly. Focus on the daily. But when you do it, the weekly then adds up to the monthly. So when you're doing all of this every single week, showing the plan two times, following up with prospects, attending a UBP with a guest, adding one new customer, calling your coach or mentor, you can't help but succeed in achieving the monthly and quarterly goals to be a master unfranchise owner, to being a shopping annuity master member, to being one of our top web center owners, and by default, you succeed. But it all just came down to the daily steps. So, Go to the MAWC 411 website. Go to the 12-week action plan. Download it, certainly as a new web center owner, and follow it each and every week. And it's going to keep you on track with these little activities in a way that you can contact your prospects and candidates and keep track of them without falling through the cracks, right? You can write down your contacts. Who do you know that owns a business? Who do you know that's employed in a small business? Who do you do business with? Where do you go to lunch? Who's well-connected? And then it gives you a place to do a little bit of research, right? What questions can you ask? And then when did you book a 15-minute consultation? So the 12-week action plan really is like the getting started guide for web center success. Again, everything is there for you. Now, the weekly exercises, if you wanted to follow through, there's actually a video session on a 12-week um, action plan. One a week, you could do additional training as a new web center owner. Besides your bingo challenge webinars, you could be following these 30-minute sessions, taking you through once per week weekly exercises to succeed with web centers. And for those of you that are, might be doing this 90-day fast tracks and you're on these other calls that the company and field leaders are, are using, well, you can also download the Sprint to Success tracking sheet from support materials on unfranchise.com. Now, what it is, is basically the basic five weekly checklist alongside the web center tracking list. So all of the things that you need to track for success, reading your goal statement, listening to training or audios, contacting three people um, for website sales, contacting two prospects for the unfranchised business, booking appointments, attending events. It's all laid out for you. All you need to do is track your activity. And I'll tell you, activity leads to results. So. How are we going to accomplish the goals, right? We talked about the what. We talked about the why. Now we're going to talk about the how. Over the next eight weeks, you are going to learn from our top certified web center trainers 
various aspects of being a successful web center owner. Next week, we're going to talk about the five C's. It's kind of like the basic five for web center success, but it also applies to every other area of your unfranchised business. We're going to have one of our top web center trainers talk to you about how to identify candidates, how to do necessary candidate research, how to contact candidates, how to conduct a 12 minute consultation, and then how to use the product specialist to help close your prospect into buying a digital marketing product or a website. So they'll be going through each of those as a high level. And then the following weeks, we're going to be going into how to approach businesses, right? Various approaches to get a uh, an appointment. We're going to talk about how to handle objections. We're going to talk about how to follow up and follow through. We're going to talk about how to um, be a better account manager. We're going to talk about how to build your business through web centers by expanding and recruiting other web center owners. So we're going to help you succeed every step of the way so you're not alone. Be in touch with a mentor, be in touch with accountability partners, be in touch on the Web Center Owner Support Group. But when you apply everything that you're learning, you can't help but succeed. So we're going to give you a quick jump start today. I'm going to have you each pull out a piece of paper, pull out a paper, um, a notebook, get a pen or a pencil, something to write with. And we're going to brainstorm just a quick who do you know list. We're going to pick one industry at a time and we're going to start with restaurants. I want you to think of who you know that owns a restaurant, any type of restaurant, an Italian restaurant, a Greek restaurant, a, a sushi place, someone that caters, a coffee shop, a deli, an American bar and grill, a barbecue, uh, where you get takeout, where do you order subs, where do you go out for lunch um, during the work hours, where do you um, – go out for uh, pizza, where do you go uh, for fine dining, right? Where do you go for Chinese or Japanese or hibachi, right? We all do these things each and every day or week. So who do you know that owns a business like that? Who do you know that works at one? So who do you know that might be a waiter or a waitress, a manager, a bartender, host or hostess, maybe a bar back, maybe um, a dishwasher, maybe uh, someone that... Uh, works on their social media, someone that works in their office, someone that works for a restaurant. Now, who do you do business with? Where do you go? Right? If you don't know who owns a business, where do you go? Where do you go when you want to order takeout? Where do you go when you want to get sushi? Where do you go when you want to, you know, a nice night out and some fine dining? Where do you go when if you're going to go to a brewery? Uh, where do you go for a bar and grill? Where are you going for barbecue? Right? Then. Who do you know that's well-connected? So who are people that are well-connected in the restaurant industry? Think of companies that might do advertising and sales. Maybe people that sell merchant services. Maybe um, companies that do loyalty or rewards programs. Maybe uh, those that you know that uh, work for restaurant sales, like equipment sales. Or maybe people that do um uh, alcohol sales or wine sales or brewery sales. Who do you know that might be, oh, the, the building inspector or the health department in your town? Who do you know that uh, is in a chamber or a B&I group, right? This is how we brainstorm our list. That was just one category. Let's do it with contractors. Who do you know, uh, and again, owns a business, employed at a business, who do you use for business or who do you know that's well connected? Who do you know that's a landscaper, painting contractor, HVAC, plumbing, roofing, siding contractor, home builder, um, kitchen and bath remodel, um, kitchen and countertops, stonework, masons, chimney sweeps, landscapers, landscape construction, pavers. So you can see there are so many opportunities and we could keep going on jogging your memory, but your job is to do this. Your job is to go through each of these categories and develop a list of at least 60 candidates and that's where you're going to start. That's going to jumpstart you into next week's 5C conversations, but that's your job this week. Job this week is to write your goals. <clears throat> write your goals. Schedule your time and know when you are working. Print out your bin bingo card, multiple bingo cards. Download and print the 12-week action plan. Make a list of at least 20 business owners or candidates and add two per day. And then connect and reach out to five people per day, right? Two for the unfranchised business, three for your web center business. Learn, practice, and use the referral networking approach. You can actually go to YouTube if you want to kind of jump ahead. Go to YouTube.com. The website uh, or the web center training YouTube channel is official. M-A-W-C, right? YouTube.com slash uh, official M-A-W-C. In that, 
you can have access to all of our recorded webinars. You can learn the approaches right there. Get a sneak attack and go forward and start contacting businesses. Don't wait for the training. Take action, right? But the most important thing is you got to know where you are headed. So I am so happy that you joined us in this bingo contest. But hopefully you see that there's going to be a lot of valuable training and insight uh, alongside this. It's really about a training and mentorship program. And we just happen to put some prizes to make it fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Looking forward to have you each and every week on the bingo contest webinar. You will get access to recorded versions. And I thank you for joining us tonight.